In times like this, I think it's important that there's a voice out here letting people know that you don't have to pick a side. And that's why I'm sitting down to make this video right now to let you all know that when it comes to this conflict over in Israel and the Middle East, you do not have to pick a side. Now, before I go any further, if you're from Israel or if you're from one of these various places in the Middle East and that has influenced you to choose a side, then that's okay. If you have family over in one of these areas and that influenced you to choose a side, that's okay. If you practice a certain religion and your religious beliefs influenced you to pick a certain side in this conflict, that's okay. Because you have the right to choose a side and you have a right to your opinion. But just like you have the right to do that, people also have the right to stay neutral. And to be frank, people also have the right to not give a damn at all. But I can't help but feel that ever since this situation started, that there has been this constant pressure from society, this constant pressure to push you into making a decision to push you into choosing a side. And I've experienced that firsthand. I've made it clear since my first video that I am trying to remain as neutral as possible in my coverage of this conflict. I've made it clear that my intentions are to cover what's happening on the ground, to share the facts about what's happening with this war. My intentions on covering the story were never to come in and tell you this side is right and that side is wrong. These are the good guys and those are the bad guys. Never have I sat down to do that, yet I have had this constant pressure trying to push me into siding with Israel or siding with the people of Palestine. And, and at the end of the day, I'm not going to allow me, I'm not going to allow anyone to push me into taking a stance or taking a position on a situation that I have chosen not to take a stance on. But no matter how neutral I or anyone else tries to remain in this situation, no matter the fact that I have denounced the harming of innocent civilians on both sides, people still want you to pledge your undying allegiance to Israel or your undying allegiance to the people of Palestine or one of these various organizations that claim to be fighting in their name. And I'm not going to do that. In fact, not only do you not have to pick a side in this situation, it's also okay to not have an opinion about it at all. We as humans, we were not meant to have an opinion on every single thing happening in the world. In fact, most humans throughout the course of history, had very little knowledge about all of the things that were going on in the world. But over the past couple of decades, since the internet has been introduced, now it's like people have this weight on their shoulders to constantly have to have an opinion about every single thing that happens on planet Earth. And as someone who literally basically shares my opinions now, for a living, I can tell you with full confidence that you don't have to have an opinion on everything. News stories are brought to me every day. There's so much information that is put in front of my face on a daily basis. And there's so many things that I just choose to not take a stance on, to not have an opinion on, to not necessarily worry about. And you know, I'll be the main one to tell you that what's going on in Israel is very important. I'll be the main one to tell you that I think people should inform themselves about these type of situations. 
But at the same time, I will also tell you that if you choose to go about your daily life and not worry about it, if you choose to maybe find out what's going on but not to have a firm opinion on it, that's okay. You don't have to have an opinion on everything. And I don't think that we as humans were meant to be subjected to this much information every single day. And this is really a new phenomenon. You know what I mean? Like this is a new a new way of life that has been introduced into the world. 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, your parents, your grandparents, they didn't have an opinion on everything going on in the world because they weren't even introduced to that, to that much information. But here in today's day and age, you wake up, you get on your phone or your computer or your tablet, and within 30 minutes, you soak in more information than people used to in an entire lifetime. You soak in all of the horrors that happened across the, the entire world. You soak in information about various crimes across the country and even in other countries. You soak in information about this person dying and how this person died and about this bad thing happening in this country and that bad thing happening in that country. And, you know, I think it really has an effect on people's mental health. It has to because we are in a time where no other human being in the past has had to go through the things that we've gone through. They may have lived harder lives, but they weren't subjected to this much information. They weren't subjected to countless videos of people dying constantly and things like that. So I really do think that this new age of the internet, we don't know yet how it has affected people fully, but there's no doubt that it's affecting people. And I just want you all to know that it's okay to see a situation playing out and to not pick a side. It's okay to not have an opinion about it. Another thing that I find really frustrating is that people will constantly say, oh, you, you don't understand this. You don't understand those people. You don't understand why these people are doing the things they're doing. What about what they did in the past? What about what they did in the past? You don't have an understanding of this. And I find that really frustrating because I think that with some situations, and I'm someone that loves to gain knowledge. I love to try to understand things that I didn't understand before. And I love that there's different walks of life. I love that we live on this planet and there's so many like different cultures, like there's so much diversity on this earth, you know? And I appreciate hearing people's perspectives. I, I appreciate hearing opinions that I don't even necessarily agree with. I appreciate learning about other people's world views and where they're coming from and how they feel about certain things. I appreciate all of that. I really do. Throughout my entire life, I have been on a mission to gain understanding about things that I don't understand. I've been on, on a mission to learn about people and their ways of life. But I'm also wise enough to know that you're not going to understand everything in the world. In fact, I will go so far as to say that some things aren't really worth understanding. When we see this conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians and people say, you don't understand it though. You're not understanding. My thought is, well, why do I want to understand this? And as a human being, am I capable of understanding this? Am I capable of understanding what these people are going through? Am I capable of understanding these people's thought process? And I've boiled it down to this when it comes to a lot of the problems in the Middle East. Some people may be offended, but hey, I'm going to tell it like it is. With the heart that I was given, with the soul that I was given with the mind that I was given with the upbringing that I had, 
how I was raised, it simply will not allow me to understand the level of hatred that these people have in their hearts for one another. I can understand the history. I can understand that this event happened on this date and that event happened on that date. But I will never, ever come to an understanding. I will never understand the level of hatred that these people have in their hearts for one another. I will never understand being taught to hate an entire group of people from the time that I was conceived, from the time that I was popped into this earth from my mother's vag. I won't understand being indoctrinated and taught to hate an entire group or an entire religion of people from birth. I will never be able to understand that. And most Good people will never be able to understand that. So when you look at what's happening in the Middle East and you don't fully understand, maybe it's because you're a good person with a good heart and you can't understand why these people are doing what they're doing. With my core set of values and beliefs, I'm never going to understand why these people believe what they believe and why these people are willing to do the things that they do in the name of their beliefs. I'm never going to understand parading dead bodies in the street while praising God. I'm never going to understand praising God as I kill innocent children. And this goes for either sides. There are some things that you're not going to understand. There's some things that you're not capable of understanding, and that's not always a bad thing. So when these people say, well, you don't understand this, you don't understand this, you're damn right. You're damn right I don't understand killing and, and R-wording and kidnapping women and driving around with them in the back of your pickup trucks, flaunting their body as you praise Allah. I'm not going to understand that, nor do I ever fucking want to. I'm not going to understand the other side as they bomb entire cities and, and, and it's just become this contest of who killed the most babies. I don't understand that, nor do I fucking want to. You know, sometimes, you know, our society needs someone that's not afraid to be real. And I'm not afraid to be real. I understand that what I'm saying right now is going to offend a lot of people and they're going to get all pissy in their pants because I didn't choose this side or I didn't choose that side. And I acknowledge the truth, which is that these people have been killing each other for decades and we're supposed to understand why you're killing those babies and I need to understand why they're killing those babies. No, I don't understand any of it and all of it is absolutely stupid and Pretty freaking evil if you ask me. I'm not going to come to an understanding about these belief systems that cause these people to do this stuff in the name of whoever they worship or what have you. I've been sitting back for like a week now watching as people say, well, you don't understand this. You don't understand that. And I'm not saying people who are saying this to me, but just in general, the overall conversation about this conflict You'll see it on social media all day. Hamas flies into Israel in paragliders, kills women and kids, captures them, makes videos of them killing people. And then you have people, you don't understand why Hamas is doing this, okay? You don't understand why Hamas is graping women and killing innocent children in the streets. You don't understand it, okay? You don't understand their reason why. And then Israel would drop bombs on Gaza, right, you know, on innocent people who are trying to evacuate. And then you say, well, you don't understand why Israel is dropping bombs on these people. You just don't understand. You know what I understand? I understand that people, some people, have reached a point where they lack humanity. Like, are there even humans... Like human souls left in these bodies, I wonder sometimes. 
If your first response to seeing innocent people killed in the streets is, well, you don't understand this and you don't understand that. Have we forgotten that these are real people losing their lives? We understand death. You know what I understand? That when I see a dead baby, that they're not going to get back up and be able to live their lives. That's what I understand. Do you think I give a flying finuck about the hundred years of all this stuff you need to understand about why this baby had to die? No. So... If you want to understand anything right now, if you understand anything in this video, understand this, that you, as a good human being with a good heart and a good soul, you do not have to feel as if you need to understand some of these people. Because as a good person, the way I was raised, with the heart and soul that I have, with the mind that I have, I will never understand why these people are doing the things that they do. And I don't want to. And I don't have to. And, and in fact, the people who think they understand this, I would question them. I would question why they just totally lack empathy. Why have they just lost touch with what it is to be a human? Why do they not value human life in the way that I do. And to make no mistake about it, when I look over here at what's going on for my entire life, I see that these people don't value life in the way that I value life. That's something I understand. The things that these people do, the things they're willing to do for their beliefs, I understand that they don't value human life in the way that I value human life. And I'll just leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts though down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll be talking to you all really soon in the next video.